Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my another video on this playlist and in this video we are going to talk about uh, the MVC application. So in the previous video we just talked about initial introduction. Now we will change this into the implementation. We will show it in the implementation how we can have a controller, service and how we can create a route. Okay. So I was already writing some code snippet here. I will just show that and then we will continue further. So here I have a routes like uh, I have HTTP get put post delete here you can say users route HTTP get to get all the users get user by email here create user here remove user by email ID because I'm passing the route parameter and here updating user okay so all these calls are going to this controller this controller I have created that is available here so in this controller we can see all the methods create user get user get user by email id remove user by email id so what we are doing is we are calling uh, the service method here like create user and what create user is doing so currently we are having just a local store of array so whenever you call the create user we are actually doing a push on to this array and we are returning the current logged in user get user by email id we have the user object so might be you are creating new set of users after that we are just doing a filter on that user saying okay give me that particular uh, array only where email equal to the past email in the request parameter so if we just look at this uh, in our controllers how we are getting this email IDs and all we are getting email IDs from the request parameters these are the route parameters if anything which we are passing in the body that we can get from request.body like this so here this is HTTP post right this is HTTP post request so we will we are passing something in the request body we are passing down to service for create user and it is doing push get user is we are not passing anything in the request payload it's HTTP get HTTP gate is simple you can hit this from the card request and service dot get users which is just doing nothing but returning the array of users we have and sending it back to client using response dot status 200 and in the JSON we are sending that data get user by email ID another example where we are getting the request parameter so we have to extract the email from the request parameter and then we have to call this method this method is just doing a filtering Okay, just give me that particular email which I'm specified and response.status. Okay, and here remove user by email ID if you are just creating and then you also wanted to remove something, then you can do it. So what we will do is let's create some dummy data. You can also create this data using post call. Okay, and we can start the server. So if we hit this, now we are able to get the set of users, right? Now if I hit based on email, so this is route parameter I'm returning, right? I can I can get this particular user only. Right, so this is a get request so I'm trying to hit this particular request at this moment similarly you can also delete delete is something like uh, you just change it to in the card I'm not sure if I'm being correct okay no specified views extension provided so it is looking for router.delete and user email ID You can try to hit from the postman so it is complaining because we are not using handlebars for now so it should not complain about the templating engines and all because we are purely using these apis for the express rest apis okay yeah i know why it is complaining because in some error we are rendering it yes 
response.rendering will actually look for the templating engines setup or templating engine views directory and we are not giving it so that's why we can restart the server or you can just use node mon node to start the server which is in the package so json so what you need to do you need to npm install install nodemon and you can just do npm run start so nodemon will actually a watcher so whenever the files are getting changed it will actually restart your code node process okay so now our process should be started now we can get the the particular error which we are getting so here in this delete method router.delete request.response controller.remove user by email id here what we are saying that we are removing the user by email and we are returning this data okay let me just try get this is working so we can also try to get all the users yeah so that is fine now you can actually get create an update so you can we can, we can try these three methods from the postman how it is working okay so in the next video we'll try to extend it and now the time comes uh, that we can also introduce mongodb and we can use a mongodb entity only to save this data and expose it to the rest api clients